Hello and welcome back. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install NetBeans IDE 8.2 and Java JDK that is going to be most compatible with NetBeans IDE 8.2. So the most compatible one for NetBeans IDE 8.2. So here we are. This is the download page for NetBeans IDE 8.2 and today it's October the 10th 2019 okay this uh, the date because Java and the Oracle is changing like unexpectedly in a different way so this page may not be available in near future okay so this is NetBeans IDE 8.2 download page you can go ahead and start the download of any of the flavor of NetBeans IDE so I would say if you have two program in HTML and JavaScript or PHP C++ or everything like all the plugins you go ahead and download this one you can also go ahead and download the 64-bit and 32-bit for specific flavor of NetBeans IDE so what I have done, I've gone ahead and downloaded this uh, NetBeans IDE 8.2 for all the programming languages. So go ahead and click on here and save the download wherever you wish to. Okay, so I've saved it on the desktop. You can see, uh, you can click on save here. And then once the download is complete, uh, you can locate it. On my system, it is on the desktop we also will need the jdk 8 so i'm going to download it here is the link to download jdk 8 i will leave this these both links uh, for jdk and netbeans ide in the description below or you can just copy it from here you can pause the video and copy it so on this download jdk download download page you simply scroll down to this very last one which says jdk se 8 u 221 and click on this jdk download button this will take you to a different download page which is very specific to jdk 8 and here okay so you have to download it from this one okay this is what i would recommend so go ahead and click on this accept license agreement and then you can go with 32-bit or 64-bit so I've gone ahead and downloaded the 64-bit because my system is 64-bit you can see it here so here we are this is 64-bit operating system and processor as well so I'll go ahead and close it and go back to this Java JDK download page so go ahead and click on this I'm going to download the 64-bit exe format which is going to be executable on this computer so you can see it's already been downloaded on my system so you can you can go ahead and say save and then once the download is done you can go ahead and locate the file once you have located these both files we will first need to install jdk so go ahead and double click on it and hit yes on the user account control window and let the installation initiate so just say next and this will say preparing to install now here you can simply if you want to change this uh, I would go ahead and say JDK it because that makes sense to me and then you say next hopefully this is going to be installed in just few seconds copying new files extracting installer you can do something wrong here so here we are status and it's almost done there's one more thing we need to do before we go ahead and install the NetBeans IDE 8.2. There's one more thing I would like to, okay, so it says click change to install in different folder. Uh, 
Okay, this is J R E. I would say Java J R E. Leave it and hit next. So this is going to install the Java. Okay, the Java thing on this computer. Okay, so this is going to take a minute or two maximum. In the meanwhile, I would like to explain one more thing here. So before, uh, like sometime back in a, like a year or so, we had this link to download the bundle like JDK with NetBeans IDE, but this is not available anymore. So if you click on here, this will give you a notice that says NetBeans downloads are available Apache NetBeans site which is a totally different site here uh, you will be redirected to uh, Apache NetBeans IDE uh, NetBeans site in 10 seconds which is kind of like this so you can download everything from here if you need the latest ones like 11, 10, 11.1 and so on uh, we don't have 10 here so you have Apache NetBeans LTS which is 11 which is perfect you can go ahead and try that one so here we are done here I can go ahead and say close JDK Java C this is not going to be recognized so what we need to do we need to put this JDK 8 to the path so go to C drive wherever you have installed this JDK 8 and go to JDK 8 go to bin folder copy it and once you copy this bin location go to start menu type variables and go to environment variables and go to system variables this is going to be available for every user on the system and hit new and paste it we've got jdk8 installed and set to the path now we quickly go ahead and need to try java c version and i got one point Eight. If I say Java version one point. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and try NetBeans IDE. So you've got JDK installed and configured properly. Let's go ahead and install the NetBeans IDE. So it has recognized your uh, JDK on the system. Now this is going to start the configuration and start the installation as well. So here we are. You can customize anything if you wish to. I'm going to leave it as it is and then say next. I accept the terms in the license agreement and this is where it's going to be. It's going to use the JDK 8 and it means it's going to be installed in this program files. Next, uh, glass fish. Okay, perfect. This is something people will require. So here we are groovy this is going to take some time okay guys installing base ide so what i'm going to do once the installation is done i'll be right back okay thank you for your patience you can see setup complete now you can click finish to uh, launch the application and here we are now this has also created this uh, shortcut so you simply go ahead and double click on it and they should launch the NetBean IDE 8.2. So, so this is NetBeans IDE 8.2 on Windows 10 or any Microsoft Windows operating system 7, 8 or 8.1. So let's go ahead and quickly create a C++ program here. And this is going to be, uh, so this is going to be CCP application this is going to be in document folder main file make file okay let's go ahead and finish it source file main CPP now here uh, basically return zero if I just want to test it I can go ahead and say see out and say something like hello world okay 
io stream let's go ahead and save it okay successful now go ahead and run it okay so here we are so that this is how you install netbeans ide and run it on microsoft windows 7 so if you have any issue please leave your question and comment in the comment section and i will try to answer it asap thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now take care